Ever found yourself in bed staring at the door, trying to close it with just your mind? Admit it, we've all been there. But let's face it, mind control might sound like something straight out of a superhero comic. But what if I told you it's not just reserved for the Scarlet Witch from the Avengers? Welcome to Tech Base. Today we are looking at how billionaire Elon Musk looks to revolutionize the technology where controlling things with your mind is not just a fantasy, it's a real-life superpower. Without further ado, let's dive in. Chapter 1. What is Brain-Computer Interface? Mind controlling involves using some technology attached to the head to control a device. This is referred to as the Brain-Computer Interface, or BCI. Its history dates back to the late 1960s when researchers began exploring ways to translate brain signals into commands for external devices. Throughout the years, advancements in signal processing and computing technology enabled the development of non-invasive BCIs utilizing techniques like electroencephalography EEG, to detect brain activity through scalp electrodes. However, it was in the early 90s we saw a giant leap in BCI research. And no, it's not a mind-controlled weapon system like in movies, it was the first demonstration of EEG-based control of cursors and robotic devices. By the early 2000s, advancements in machine learning and neuroscience led to more sophisticated BCIs capable of interpreting complex brain signals for applications ranging from communication aids for individuals with disabilities to neurofeedback training and virtual reality interfaces. And in 2024 comes the biggest breakthrough of BCI from Neuralink, one of Elon Musk's companies that push innovation to higher levels in neuroscience. Chapter 2. Neuralink Almost every older development of brain-controlled interfaces included several sensory electrodes to detect brain signals from the scalp. But Neuralink's brain chip digs deeper into our thoughts. Literally. The chip is directly inserted into the brain by drilling through the skull. So where did this breakthrough, no pun intended, begin? Since its inception, Elon Musk's Neuralink has attracted top-tier neuroscientists from leading universities, enriching its multidisciplinary approach to innovation. With substantial funding totaling $158 million as of July 2019, including a significant contribution of $100 million from Musk himself, Neuralink has rapidly expanded its workforce to 90 employees. It wasn't until recently Musk announced on January 30th this year that the first human has received an implant from Neuralink and is in recovery. Neuralink received FDA clearance last year for its first trial to test the company's implant in humans and it successfully transformed the life of Noland Arbaugh. Chapter 3. The First Human Patient Following a diving accident, Arbaugh tragically suffered permanent paralysis below the shoulder, making him an ideal candidate for this innovative procedure. In a live stream on Musk's social media platform, X, Arbaugh mentioned that the process was super easy. Continuing, he mentions that he also has no cognitive impairments. Arbaugh now enjoys playing up to eight hours of the game, Civilization IV. Although he says there are some challenges, the conveniences shown by the brain chip are undeniable. How does Neuralink's brain chip work to give Arbaugh a new life? Chapter 4. How Brain Chip Works Brain waves are rhythmic electrical patterns generated by the brain's neurons when they communicate with each other. Brain waves are categorized into different frequency bands, each associated with specific states of consciousness, cognitive tasks, or mental activities. Gamma waves are the fastest brain waves and are associated with higher cognitive functions, including perception, memory, and consciousness. They are often present during moments of insight, learning, or heightened sensory perception. This is the most important signal needed for BCI. At first, any BCIs capture neural activity from the brain using various techniques such as electroencephalography (EEG), magnetoencephalography (MEG), or invasive methods like implantable electrodes. The neural signals are then processed to extract information, such as identifying patterns associated with specific thoughts or commands. Signal processing algorithms analyze the neural data to identify key features that correspond to different mental states or intentions. Based on the extracted features, machine learning algorithms or other decoding methods translate the neural signals into commands or actions that can control external devices. The decoded commands are used to control various devices, 
such as prosthetic limbs, computer cursors, or communication aids, enabling users to interact with their environments solely through brain activity. That is, there are several biological layers between the brain and the scalp, meaning that the electrode sensors placed on the scalp receive a very poor signal to work with making way for errors and limiting its use. However, Neuralink's brain chip breaks through these hurdles by directly ingraining a small chip into the skull. Neuralink's groundbreaking endeavors include the creation of a revolutionary sewing machine-like device designed to delicately implant ultra-thin threads, measuring 4 to 6 micrometers in width directly into the brain. From here, the brain chip removes the issues that have prevailed with older methods of BCI. Older methods have a capacity of up to 300 electrodes to capture brain waves, but in a remarkable demonstration, Neuralink showcased a system capable of capturing data of gamma waves from a laboratory rat through a staggering array of 1,500 electrodes. Chapter 5 Ethical Issues Faced by Neuralink Conducting a debut surgery on a human presents considerable challenges without prior testing on animals. Thus, Neuralink encountered numerous ethical considerations during its journey of technology development. Despite the device's technological potential, substantial ethical issues have emerged concerning privacy, surveillance, and societal impacts. Trials conducted on monkeys and pigs exhibited promising advancements, yet also documented instances of paralysis and seizures. Ensuring fair access and addressing potential disparities are also crucial. Moreover, given the uncertainty surrounding long-term effects, researchers in neurotechnology stress the importance of safety and transparency in clinical trials. Although Neuralink's trial received approval from the USDA, it remains unregistered in the National Institutes of Health's online clinical trial database. Limited public information on the trials has been disclosed and the company has not disclosed the locations of implantations or the outcomes under evaluation. However, researchers speculate that the company is likely evaluating chip performance, durability, and user experience. As the initial trial is slated to span five years, the chip's sustained functionality will be pivotal for its success as electrode replacement post-implantation is deemed improbable. So would you want to control things with your mind? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this mind-bending journey through the world of brain-computer interfaces. We hope you've enjoyed exploring the incredible possibilities of Neuralink's accomplishment. Be sure to like and subscribe to TechBase to know more of the most bizarre and latest technological breakthroughs.